I'm like constantly looking for ways to optimize my life and get more out of my life and reach the next level and examine like what are the habits in me? What are the thought patterns? What are the um, actual things I'm doing every day that are holding me back from getting to the next level in life? And one of the things that I've been doing is noticing that like when I'm about to do something that's going to take me to the next level, what are the little things, what are these little habits that I start doing instead, right? So let's say like for me, it's like, okay, I know that I need to sit down and figure out how to create this new course, okay? And it's intimidating to me because it's like, you know, it's a big, it's a big thought. It's a big project. I kind of like don't know where to start. I'm, you know, and so that's the moment where I'm like, okay, what am I doing instead? What do I start doing? What, um, do I start like going and, um, doing busy work, checking emails or some little, you know, busy side job that doesn't take any brain power? Or do I go start snacking in the kitchen? Or do I decide suddenly decide I need to go grab something at the grocery store? Or do I go to the gym or do I go for a walk? Right? Like, I'm starting to notice like all these little things that I start doing when I really am like scared to hit the gas pedal and do what I know I really need to do, right? So this is kind of a cool thing that's happened and me since I've like been meditating a lot, it's kind of, it kind of feels like I'm in meditation all day. I'm just like the observer of my own thoughts. I'm the observer of my own patterns. And so when you are like trying to get to the next level in life, like what is that thing? Like, don't we all have something that we know we really want to do? We feel really passionate about. We're like, gosh, I really want to do this. Maybe that's changing your diet for you. Maybe that's like figuring out a, like an exercise training plan that's going to work for you. Or maybe you want to run a half marathon, but you just like haven't sat down to actually look at one and sign up for it and figure out how to train for it and what that looks like, right? Like, what is holding you back and what do you do instead, right? Like what are these, like you're like, oh yeah, okay, I really want to find out about this. I really want to start doing this. I want to, you know, I want to help people. I want to become a fitness coach. Maybe it's something like that. Like what, where, once you have that thought, like why don't you do it? What are you doing in your busy time? What's preventing you? What are you doing to procrastinate? So for me, it's like, hey, what's up, Barb? Barb just won my giveaway. Um, for me, it's like, I, I, I tend to like, just start doing a lot of like busy work. Right. So I can feel like I'm accomplishing something, but I'm not actually accomplishing that big thing. Right. It's like, and I'm just like caught in this cycle of, Oh, I'm going to post this on YouTube and I'm going to create this Instagram post and I'm going to, um, email this client and I'm going to check in with her and see how she's doing. And I just start doing all these little busy things so I can feel like I'm accomplishing when I know I need to just like stop and think and plan and do the one big thing. So that's just been something I've been working on with myself and it takes discipline because like my, I can tell that my brain, my patterns are so ingrained to just start going these ways that they've always been going. But if I want to change and I want to get to the next level, I've got to stop that, right? Like I've got to be like, okay, no, (laughs) right now I'm going to stop and think and plan. So that's what I've been working on. And it's really helped me so much. I like, I'm getting like the big things done, right? Like you've, you've seen like the little analogy where you take like a glass jar and like you have a bunch of like maybe balls, right? And then you have a whole bunch of sand. And if you put, fill it up with the sand first, like you can't get the big balls in, but if you put the big balls in first, so maybe not the best words, but put the big balls in first and then pour the sand in. You can get it all in, right? And so like what I've realized is what I've been doing is I've been pouring the sand in first and then trying to cram the balls in there, right? But if I get, do the big things first, then all the smaller things like fall into place and I can get it all done. So that's like actually something that I learned from changing my nutrition habits. I was listening to a podcast from Andy Frisella this morning. And he's, you know, he has this 75 hard challenge and part of it is, is eating well. Right. And he's, he says that like, he's <laughs> Andy Purcell is very, very honest, very blunt, <laughs> very straightforward. I appreciate that in him. And he was just like, changing my eat- eating habits is the hardest effing thing I have ever done. <laughs> like, that's what he's saying. Right. He's like, it is harder than anything, harder than building my business, harder than like any other thing I've set out on in life. And it is. So like I, I have learned so many principles for, um, changing my life just from changing my nutrition. Right. So I'm trying to apply those to all of the different things in my life. I'm like, okay, well, what's one of the things that really helped me change, change my body forever and change my nutrition habits. It was like 
when my programmed way was like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. I think I'll just have like a snack. I'll have a protein bar. I'll have a treat or I'll have this little thing. It was like, no, I'm going to have vegetables and meat first. I'm going to take this. This is going to hurt a little. I don't feel like freaking making asparagus <laughs> and chicken right now, but I'm going to do it, right? Because that's going to change my life. Hey, what's up, Wellness Forest? Hey, Josh. So that's the same thing. That's the same principle I'm applying right now in my business. It's like, oh, like old me, the me at this level wants to just email people and create Instagram posts and, you know, do all these smaller level things. But the new me is not going to do that. I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm going to change my habits and I'm going to work on my big projects first, right? So that's what I'm working on. So I thought that might be helpful to anybody who's like trying to make a big change. Like, I've, I've really, really examined, like I get very spiritual and woo woo and I, I do guys. <laughs> I don't know if I've showed you guys, shown you guys that side of me that much yet, but I'm like, maybe change doesn't have to be hard. Maybe you can just change your heart and it will just be easy to make change. And it's like, uh, if it is, I haven't gotten there yet. Like, I think that it's hard to change your habits. Like our neural pathways are like our habits. They, our brains like want to go the path of least resistance. They're like, just keep doing what you've been doing. That will be easy. So like to make that change, it's going to hurt a little bit, right? It's going to be like, Ugh. it's just going to be a little uncomfortable. It's just like lifting weights. It's like, if you just, if it's does if it isn't a little bit uncomfortable, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to make a change, right? It's got to be a little bit uncomfortable. So it's like, you know, everyone's been saying forever. If you do the same thing you've always done, you'll get the same results you've always gotten. Absolutely. And it, and it applies so much. At least this is what I'm learning right now. It applies so much to like, our lives, like what we're going to get out of our lives, like how we spend our time during the day, right? So if we're like in this habit of, you know, maybe it's for you, it's like you get home from work and you just fart around on your phone and look up memes and watch the office and, you know, you can do that if that's, if you sit down and you think this is what I want my life to look like. And yes, that is what I want my life to look like. Sure. But if that's not what you want your life to look like, if that's not what you want to get out of, li out of life, maybe you're like, man, I really would love to get in hiking more, or go fishing more, or spend more time with like my, my grandpa before he dies, or like whatever it is, like it's going to hurt a little bit because your normal self's going to be like, I want to sit down and fart around on my phone right now. That's what I feel like doing. So it's going to hurt a little bit. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Be like, no, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to call my grandpa and go visit him, or I'm going to like do the actual work to like get my hiking shoes on and go drive over to the mountain and go on a hike or whatever it is for you. You know, for me, like I'm feeling that so much in my life right now. It's like, mm, I got, I have to get rid of these little small, low level habits that are preventing me from everything that I want in life. All right. That's my message. Hope that was helpful to you guys. Thanks for, thanks for jumping on. Thanks for the comments. Uh, thanks Josh. Yeah. The old me and the new me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's uh it's constant evolution, man. It's constant evolution and like really examining like what is holding me back? What are all these little stupid things I'm doing that are holding me back from everything that I want in life? You love pasta, it will hurt. Yeah, and Barb, like like there's a version of you like I used to drink milk like there was no tomorrow. Like my <laughs> little family, we had four kids. We would go through like gallons and gallons of milk every week. Like, I don't know, four gallons of milk a week. I have not had milk in like four years, probably. Like I don't even think about drinking milk. So it's like, at one point, if you told me I wasn't going to drink milk, I'd be like, you're freaking crazy. You're not taking my milk from me. But like, that will be pasta for you someday. Someday it's like, I don't even think about that anymore. Right. But making that change, making that change is tough because you're just used to it. We just, our brains want to go the path of least resistance. We want to keep going the same way we've always gone. But like our higher selves, if your higher self is calling to you and saying, hey, like, don't do that thing anymore. Like, let's do something a little bit better. If we can listen to and honor that, like we can change our life and get everything we want. So, all right, that's what I'm working on. I'm going to get off this now and go uh, work on the big project I've got going. All right, have a good day, guys. Bye.